Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Expert Level 1, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's lessons are going to focus on relational databases. We're going to learn about relational database concepts, what a relational database is, and why they're important. We'll learn how to set up relational tables by adding key fields, primary keys and foreign keys, to our tables. We'll learn how to relate our tables together using relationships inside of queries. We'll talk about different join types in queries. And we'll learn how to set up relational combo boxes where you can pick a value from one table to store in a second table. For example, picking a customer to store that in the contact table. This class follows Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 9. Now I do consider Beginner Level 9 to be a prerequisite for today's class because in my beginner series I focused on non-relational database techniques. The database that we built in the beginner series did not relate multiple tables together like you should. So in Beginner Level 9 I showed you bad database techniques. I showed you how to set up the contact management system wrong using flat file tables where the contact and customer information was together in the same table. In today's class, we fix the database that we built in Beginner Level 9. So if you haven't watched Beginner Level 9 yet, I strongly recommend you watch that one first before taking this class. And of course, the entire Beginner series if you haven't already. This class uses Microsoft Access 2010, but all the techniques shown today should work just fine in Access 2007. Everything also is pretty much the same in Access 2013. I've been using the beta version, which is available right now on Microsoft's website, and so far everything looks pretty similar. If you're using Access 2003 and earlier, the lessons in today's class are roughly the same, but the combo box wizards are a little different. This class is roughly equivalent to my old Access 201 class for Access 2003. You'd be better off watching that lesson than this one. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class, but if you haven't taken the previous classes, you can download a copy of my database. You'll find it on the website, accesslearningzone.com slash databases. My courses are broken up into four groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the true potential of Microsoft Access. Each series is broken down into different numbered levels starting with level 1. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. Once you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, the developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked 
as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In Lesson 1, we're going to learn about the basics of relational databases, what relational databases are, why they're important, and the different types of relationships between tables. In Lesson 2, we're going to learn how to add the proper key fields to several different tables to make them relational. We'll set up a customer to contact relationship. We'll also fix our lead source table and our shipping method table. In Lesson 3, we're going to set up relational queries to relate the information in the different tables together, and we'll talk about some different join types. In Lesson 4, we're going to learn how to make relational combo boxes, where we can pick a value from one table and store that in a field on a second table. For example, pick a customer for each contact. 